Hi, in this video we're going to go through what message groups are. In the previous videos we showed what message segments are and how to create them. If you haven't watched those videos, I recommend you do that first as the segments have to be in place before you can create groups. And what we're going to be doing when we create message groups is actually putting together the segments in a way that makes sense so that it creates a new paragraph or a new full message to someone. So in our previous one that we did, we had four different message segments. We had some different combinations of things that we could say for introductory thanks, some other options that the software could choose for interest shown in a video. Then we had a different way to word the link so that Genius Posts could pick one of those. And then we had a way to say, hey, thanks, we'll be in touch or get in touch with us. And again, this one should really be a question or something that causes them to want to engage with you. Uh, you'll find you'll get a lot better results if your outro is always geared towards a conversation rather than just a statement. So what we can do in the message groups, you're just going to be putting these together. And all we're going to do the way we made the segments in this is we're just going to tell it, pick one from the first segment, pick one from the second segment, pick one from the third segment, pick one from the fourth segment. And remember we put the spaces at the end of each sentence, so we don't need to put a space. Had we forgotten that, we would have needed to put a space between each one, like that. But we don't need to do that, because we put the spaces at the end, and that's why I recommend that. Now, you don't have to use segments. You can also put things, maybe we don't want to put the introductory thanks in there, and we just want to say, hi, whoops, hi, and that's it. So we can put this static text in there. Now every message will start with hi, and then every message will randomize something from the interest shown, something from the link to the video, something from the outro, and we will create our full message using the segments. So that's really it. In the next video, I'll show you how to actually do that. You'll, we'll be doing that inside of groups here and creating them, and I'll show you how to actually do that in the next video.